about six years ago, we first started developing LLVM compilers for deeply embedded systems. Um, that tends to be our speciality, the deeply embedded world. And to test those compilers, we needed execution tests. But the LLVM test suite, the programs in general are too large, and they generally rely on having library interfaces that are not available on embedded systems. Fortunately, we were able to turn to the Clang tests repository, which is a snapshot of the GCC 4.2.2 regression test suite modified for use with Clang LLVM. The problem is that was done in 2007 and it's now getting rather old. We have no way of testing C, C++11, C++14, C++17 on deeply embedded systems. So the question was, how do we go about updating that very large test suite? I talked about that to the GNU people at the Cauldron 2015, exploring the possibility to make the GNU tools general purpose. We've actually now done that, and we presented that a month ago at the GNU Tools Cauldron, and I'm going to tell you about it here today as well. We're using the tests from the GCC test suite to validate compilers other than GCC, not just LLVM, and at this stage, we're mainly using the GCC C Torture and GCC DG uh, test suites, which are the two main general purpose execution <laughs> test suites. When I first looked at this in 2015, we took the approach of trying to use blacklisting just to get rid of tests that were a problem. That doesn't, it's not really scalable, and we quickly threw that away. And the approach we've used is the same approach used in excluding tests generically in the GCC tests, which is to not run a test if the feature it relies on isn't there. For example, you don't try running ARM-specific tests on a MIPS target. And that's quite easily done. Uh, GCC tests run using Deja GNU, the equivalent of the Linux the LLVM in integrated tester, and that's written in a dialect of TCL. And you can just add uh, extra procedures to test for various features. So my example here, GCC supports an attribute leaf. That's not available in LLVM. Rather than saying, don't run this test for LLVM, we give an attribute we can give to any test that requires attribute leaf and put it in as a comment, DG require effective target leaf, and then that test won't run if the leaf attribute's not there. And the leaf, the test is just try a compilation and see if you get a compiler error. So we've now got that running. There's an Embercos and public build server. We're running these tests, the latest GCC regression tests for both 32-bit risk 5 and 64-bit um, uh, x86. Um, and here's the current status. Um, x86, 64, we've still got quite a few unexpected failures because we're still working through which tests won't run um, on LLVM, have we got all the attribute tests in there, all the feature tests in there. But it's a work in progress, and you can go and look at that. That's run nightly, and you can see the latest tests from the link on the bottom. So this is work in progress. There's about 100,000 C tests and about 50,000 C++ tests in a typical modern GCC run, so we have a way to go. But the goal is to finish annotating tests, to fix any bugs, obviously, in the compilers we exposed by those tests, and then to submit to upstream GCC. And the GCC community is amenable to patches that are about making the GCC tests work with other compilers, not just LLVM, but in fact, any other compiler. If you'd like to know more, uh, I'll have a poster outside tomorrow. Come and find me, and I'll explain more about it. Thank you. <laughs>